Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Raben Schild. I'm still sitting on this planet, or let's say it that way, I'm again sitting on the planet. I'm flying back and forth between the planet and the orbit, and you can see that I'm conducting experiments with dropping stuff. I wasted around 120,000 units of steel plates to make experiments with a fully loaded a fully loaded cargo pot and that's that's what happens uh, i had to basically upgrade the amount of the amount of parachutes i have on here big problem is that it seems that i'm ending at around 1000 tons um, that I am dropping when the cargo container is fully loaded just with steel plates and even 10 parachutes can't catch that basically I even raised the altitude the opening altitude by thousand meters I'm on relatively flat terrain so the numbers are right it's not like that. For example, it takes, uh, I don't know, n normal, <laughs> the normal height. Basi basically, it takes this height for um, the opening. But the, the alti altitude meter basically shows altitude over terrain and not altitude over um, normal what is what is the the name for it normal the 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 water level basically i i don't know and yeah again the, this this damage it's even it got less that's a good thing so we by raising it to 10 i could at least prevent that the whole frame just collapses it is just the tires and the cargo container that get broken. Yeah, the cargo container is the problem because that's the thing I don't want to have been broken. I will go up into orbit and we will see what we can do there. And I will show you what I've done there because yesterday, uh, yesterday, uh, on Wednesday, I just talked about it. The thing with that is that uh, I basically have to decide to not drop as much cargo because yeah the hmm, if i load it up fully the weight is just too high um i'm slowly building up uh, a plate here and i'm powering the thing at the moment with solar power that's a good thing uh, later i want to bring basically um I haven't decided how I want to do it, but I basically want to bring a plate over to there so that the the containers could land on a plate for now. It, it will not change anything, but as far as I know, it's better to have the containers hit a flat surface than, and hit flat than um, yeah, hitting <laughs> hitting somewhere uh, slanted basically the next thing I had to do was I needed to get um, ice because every time I'm going into orbit with this thing takes a huge amount of hydrogen so that's uh, yeah I had to build I had to build a small mining ship and it ended up being being bigger than I really wanted it to be. And at the moment, there seems to be some bugs in the game. Not that we are not used to that, but um, I will have to see if there was a minor fix or something like that, because I was not able to, I'm not able to go back into orbit and then connect this ship and the 
I had problem with the mining ship that it wouldn't maneuver perfectly. Um, that's a thing that ages ago happened where you basically got stuck and then you had to speed it up or or, or uh, turn the ship around so that it basically gets unstuck. It's it's weird. Yesterday the whole thrusters just dropped. So I connected it to the small station and then disconnected it and the thrusters wouldn't start up. So it's uh, this game again. No, that everything's fine. We can we can do work. That's a thing. Okay, let me get into orbit and then um, we take a look at what I have done there. Here, by the way, the non-connecting issue. So this doesn't do that. And then we have some minor graphical problems. And again, that only happens when I come back into orbit. So <laughs> let me reload the game so that this and this goes away. And now everything is back to normal. The good thing with the new machine is that reloading the game isn't an issue of minutes anymore. It it still struggles. That's always in the start, but then it smooths out. Okay, here you can see still see the model that I'm always using to basically build up our cargo container. We will have to, yeah, I think go back to... Oh, one thing I want to add to the model. Let me do that. Okay, I'm... I have to basically put that in here and then we will have to take a new one. One thing that you have to do... One thing that you have to do is take one of the Tim Tags copy and then go to the large cargo container and say um, locked. Um, there's another another word locked, excluded or something like that works also. It, it just means that you can fill stuff into the container and Tim doesn't take it out again. Um, I'm doing that here now so that basically uh, this stays the name stays with the container okay we have now two projectors again uh, like i told you in wednesday's episode this projector projects these two blocks so if i remove them with the saw down here or with the grinder i can easily put them back in um, I can, by the way, just uh, remove that or turn that off right now. Um, did I take a new blueprint? Yes, now I did. And that's the next thing we do. We change... We change this again. Here's the good thing now. I can just go in there and then say, okay, the blueprint will stay basically here. Um, I had to remove the... I had a sorter here to keep Tim from taking away my stuff. So, one thing now is we can lock this. Um, the good thing here is now the timer is now set up with these two blocks so um, when the timer runs out it turns off the the two mass blocks and then that thing can fall basically uh, uninterrupted by the mass blocks we had a bit of discussion about the mass blocks not working in uh, planetary gravity as far as i know they do and the most people that uh, i uh, or that commented on ex for example my rover videos said they they work there and could stabilize that so and that's what i saw too that they work and definitely brought one of the containers out of course 
Good. Yeah, everything is loaded here now. We could put stuff in now. And by the way, I will have to do the whole locked thing here too now. Um, the last time I dropped it with a cargo load, I just had 90 tons or so in there. And yeah, the thing now is that basically we have to make the decision. Okay, that worked, by the way, it changed the name. Um, yeah, we have to make the decision. The 156,000 liters or units, I always call it units um, because liters and all that stuff is, is, yeah, is not imperial and I'm not sure how good the the Americans are with I, I, I will not make a point about something but I'm just calling it units so that nobody has to think about that this is a measure of volume so <laughs> it's it's always crazy that it's more of a measure of volume than a measure of weight but it's true basically because hey the, this thing the container just has a certain volume that you can put stuff in so um if i fill it up i can fill it up with around 40 a bit more i think than forty thousand units not yeah units of steel plates and then the volume is full and the mass goes to uh, i think nine hundred thousand kilos so let us test that I, I will not drop that because again I don't want to lose another big haul of a big haul of oh it's even more it's <laughs> then I wasted I think 150,000 units so you can see that it's it's 1,000 tons and that's just too much for the for the the parachutes i saw a video by um sitzy spitzy oh i think it's sitzy sit oh man now i'm <laughs> oh, i can't even oh, the giving credit is always a thing um so another guy that does um pretty yeah good good and technical um exploration videos he he mostly does these okay what you can you do with and what do you need with these and these certain blocks so and he tested parachutes basically he said something about 15000 kilos so 15 tons with one and then basically the numbers go down slightly but I, I will just say around 15,000 kilograms I know that's not the complete truth but yeah that's what we will take and that would mean that we would have to put an, an astonishing amount of um, parachutes on there so we will never be, be able to fill the container completely so what we need down there now is I need some uh, metal uh, here metal grids and I think I will just take a few more of them uh, then maybe some construction components um, I could go with some some thruster components although it's not good to take them all because I'm running low on materials there too gravity generator we don't need down there one thing I definitely want to have is medical components I want to build a medical station down there uh, do we have some here 29,000 so that should still be in our reach um, having some steel plates can't be bad but maybe just go with um, 5,000 or so that hopefully, hopefully doesn't kill that thing. With some superconductors, 
would be nice down there, some power cells. The steel plates are by far the craziest thing we have in there now. Let us go with 200 of them. I want to build a car or um, a flying. I, I have some, some rotor components downloaded and I want to build something down there. And so we, we will go with around 200. Oh, that could already be too much. So let us go and unload 2000 more because I have 10, I have 10 parachutes on there now. I will have to, I will have to go with that and then maybe send another cargo container down after it. Um, maybe that's what we do. Good, let me show you how I now start the whole thing. So what I normally do now is I unlock this thing, unlock it, and then turn it off. So these are definitely not connected anymore. Let me take just one good look that I really can um, see that the parachutes are loaded. They are. The next thing is to go and take control of the Empress. Then uh, go and start the timer. Start it. And then I just go and take control again of the Empress go to the remote remote control cargo the 50 seconds seconds are hopefully not done yet oh i could have started it from here that would have worked out too so now this one is gone the next one can be built when i start this projector up again okay this falls now parachutes open at 2000 meters hopefully this one comes down and lands safely the thing now is that, again, if I lose one of these cargoes, that will damage now my, my whole economy here. I will have to go and definitely um, mine for some stuff. Let me project that in again. The build and repair system is turned on. It is turned on. So it should build these two and then it should start building the container again. This now is, I think, a good start that we can start with timers and then maybe start to um, basically uh, automate the start. That's the next thing I, I want to definitely do. Okay, why isn't it starting? Turn no 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 no. Show that um <sighs> projector the pot turn off turn on and now come on start. to build that thing. Yes. Good. It, that, that takes a while now. That's, that's the thing I have to take a look at. If I want to basically always have one there and then, um, yeah, basically have a, just a start command um, and just auto build these things, we, we have to we have to see or if I want to have a command to say, OK, build one of these things and then we can press the start button. I'm, I'm not sure how that should work out now. Yeah, the, the bigger problem that we have now is that, again, we can't load up the containers like I wanted it. I wanted to be able to fill them completely up and then um, 
drop them. That doesn't work out. Good. For the next episodes, we will change our um, vehicle here to go up and down. I will do some mining work. The, this is pretty necessary. I need steel. I need all that stuff. Uh, let, let us just take a short look at it. it. It's nothing special. It's just a framework to be able to mine. <laughs> I took the, the big drill, but it's so big. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy, but it, it works. For, for what we are doing here right now, it works. Um, when we come back to the home base, we will have to we will have to deal with a whole different set of drill, I think. Okay, this is built now. I want to see if it changed the names and all that stuff. So that we... Oh, yeah. That's a good thing. Okay. Good, 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 good. Um, this should be <sighs> landing by now. Uh, maybe I will go down and we will take a look if this one came down too hard as well. You see now how this works. Um, automating this should be pretty easy. So what I want to do is turn off this this projector. Then we uh, unlock the we unlock the this connector. Turn it off. The good thing is with having everything named in a certain way, we can basically keep the, the timers going as they are. It shouldn't change anything in the end. Oh, I by the way, I made the test if a grinder... Whoa, what's happening down there? <laughs> um, if a grinder is able to grind down a container and take the stuff that's in there, that is possible. That's a good thing. So let us go down again and again. This is what's happening right now. I'm using up a lot of it. It should have refilled by now. But no, see that? Uh, 12,000 and 12,000. These were full. So these had around 20 to 24,000 uh, units of ice in there. And that's what I used up just to get up here to fill the basically fill up the this one tank again um, I brought in 800,000 so I can do some more of these starts but we will have to have a different way to get back up and down uh, this is this is not cheap let's say it that way so, okay, let me just uh, lock for a moment, uh, fill the, um, the things up with ice again. That should have, yes, see, 27,000. So we used 30,000 uh, on the way up too, because with two um, oxygen generators it is able to power the thruster down there so yeah <laughs> normally my the fuel runs out at around 32,000 meters so it's it's crazy <laughs> good let us see if that worked down there you can see it it is still going down that's a good sign that it is at least not too fast um, so hopefully this can get down there without big issues one thing that could make issues is the precision because now, with not having a group anymore for the mass blocks, it could be that it turns them off at different times. That might be a bit of a problem, but we will have to see how well this one lands. Uh, you can see that they roughly, roughly 
are in the same area so maybe the the grinder has to be a bit bigger if we think about it okay get down turn this off that worked out pretty well now this comes down and hopefully it is in the drop zone give me a sec this this could take a while this one is so not in the drop zone hmm I really have to see what influences the the zone basically um, I, I what I'm doing right now is I basically let the containers be where they are so that I can see what uh, yeah what container um, could mark this thing by the way and basically go and say this one is um, container loaded with around 150 tons just to to have it a bit marked that we know which container is which this one is the first I dropped basically then this is the one where I had problems with the mass blocks. This was the last one and then I have some impact craters for the the more the two more I've dropped down here. Okay, what I need now is a way to empty it out because this just doesn't cut it. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we see that now there is a precision problem, but I will have to see if don't know the next one gets dropped to there too then it could be something different maybe it is the parachutes because again the this one was dropped with uh, four this one had 10 this one has 10 this all can influence all that stuff but at least they stay in this area so maybe we don't do a grinder thing or not at first maybe we do something to bring in the containers. Um, uh, again, I have these helicopter parts now. Maybe we can do something like a helicopter to pick them up, bring them to the base or something like that. That that all could work out. We will have to see. It's, it's a long way. But the next thing we do is um, maybe a car or something to empty it out and to be able to drive around a bit and then um we can do i can i can do more drop experiments i don't want to bore you with with doing every episode two of these things or something like that good next episode building a car to get around or something like that to get around i will stack up on um let me stack up on steel plates so that i can continue the steel plate work down there and I will get the medical components to build up a medical room down there. Good people. I think that's all for this week. Hope you liked the episode. Again, I'm still basically in in <laughs> building up mode with the computer and um, then I can get back to <clears throat> really, <laughs> really doing more stuff down here it's it's still crazy <laughs> good people thanks for watching hope to see you in the next one see you guys